So, Put to South down Australia, down. off the top of the show, before we get to the finals action tonight, and the first off-field drama at the Adelaide Footy Club tonight with Brad Crouch and Tyson Stingle being caught today with an illicit substance. It has angered the Crows and it has sent shockwaves through the Adelaide Footy Club. Got gutted, really. Um, disappointed. Angry. We became aware this morning um, through through one of the players' managers. Everyone has been working so hard to turn um, turn it around at the club, and we felt like we were really getting some momentum, and and that's why it's um, so gutting that this has happened. Tyson's had a very disappointing six months, so yeah, that'll certainly factor into our decision making. Uh, I think those discussions with Brad and his management will be on hold. Um, we need to work through those issues before we start talking about contracts. What a timing for Brad Crouch and for Adelaide. His currency seemingly out the window in the trade to some degree, Kane, and also his chances of staying in Adelaide pretty slim now, I'd think. Yeah, we'll deal with Brad Crouch in a second, Hutchie. I firstly want to go back to April when Tyson Stengel was caught for that drink-driving indiscretion that Adam Kelly referenced. He was for, uh, suspended for four weeks by his own club. And this is what he said. I know that I've let a lot of people down and I want to apologise for what was some poor decisions. I'm determined to win back the trust of my teammates and coaches and that starts with focusing on my training and working hard. Well, I'm not sure the best thing to be doing is uh, exiting a nightclub at 5.15 on a Monday morning the week after your club has broken up. Now, fortunately for him, he signed a contract extension until the end of 2022, so his career is probably not in jeopardy. But now let's get to Brad, a senior member and should be a leadership group member at the Adelaide Football Club. What he is doing in a taxi with a young teammate at this time, I can't imagine that there is another club right now that would go after Brad Crouch on the back of this. Not only just for this, but the way that he's carried himself in the last 12 months and how he has heard his value from shopping himself around and asking for a ridiculous price last year to averaging 13 games across eight seasons of footy. His body continually lets him down. Didn't finish in Adelaide's top 10 in the best and fairest, which is saying something. So perhaps his only option is to walk back with his tail between his legs and sign a two-year deal at the Crows. Kane, I can't imagine why Adelaide wouldn't have grounds to let Tyson Stingle go after two indiscretions like this. I find that staggering that you think that a contract will hold him to that football club after what's happened. Look, it wouldn't surprise me if Adelaide moved him on, um, but I don't think they will, Caro. 21-year-old, two indiscretions. We've seen players in the past have similar ones. It will be his last chance if he stays there, but he does have that security of a couple of years on a contract and they do rate what he's doing on field and he's showing promise. But as you say, I wouldn't be shocked if they moved him on, but I don't think they will. I'll be fascinated to see what happens, Hutch, because the easiest thing that happens in this situation, we even heard from Adam Kelly there, we'll, we'll be looking at Tyson Stengel's contract. The easiest thing to do is sack the player that, you know, you give or take. Whether Stengel's on the list next year or he's not, I don't think it'll worry would, the Adelaide Crows. Whereas, Would you be deterred Crouch, if you were a club wooing Brad Crouch right now? Yeah, that's the thing about it. I'd be making that many phone calls if you're the Geelong Footy Club or whoever it is, saying, you know, did you know, did you think that Brad Crouch had this in him? What's his history? Uh, clubs know, become fixes clubs, though yeah, quick in trade, yeah, don't that's they? That's right, but it's about... They took Jack Stephen last year, uh, Geelong, so you want to be careful about how many guys you bring into your football club, and I know Jack Stephen, you know, is a different, different background, different history, but you don't want to bring players in with baggage. They say Leopard never changed his spots, and this is pretty ordinary at a time where he wants multiple years of big money for Brad and Crouch. And Port Adelaide will be looking pretty closely yes. at him too after. Mm. There's definitely a link there. Two steps forward and then one step or three steps back really for the Adelaide Football Club. They've lured Scott, um, Scotty Burns to come and give some help to Matthew Nix. Also their respected former captain Nathan Van Burlow. I hear they're very close to perhaps getting James Raleigh from the Geelong Football Club to come in as an assistant coach as well. Neil Baum has said no to Adelaide. He he said no uh, late last week. He was being spot. We revealed that on this show actually a little while ago. But um, he spoke to Mark Rusciuto about coming over and being a senior sort of football advisor. But in the end, he's decided to stay at Richmond.